this book, Food and Behavior, The Natural Connection. It's written by an author named Barbara Reed Stitt, who is a Lifetime Achievement Award winner. She studied the food supply for 20 years, and she studied parolees, criminals, and serial killers, and high school dropouts. She wanted to get to the source of why is there so much violent behavior in America? And this was in the late 90s, which by the way, was when GMOs and glyphosate were you know, in the food supply. And what she found was, was that they bragged that they lived on junk food. Dr. Michelle Perrell will very clearly describe the state of our children's health. It is an epidemic. We have a major problem in America regarding our children being sick. So we wanted to look at the sources for that. And the primary source we believe is food. And 30 million meals are served to our children through school lunches every day. And they are predominantly derived from ingredients that are GMO, genetically modified organisms, and or crops that are sprayed with glyphosate as a drying agent. According to a recently published laboratory report, food samples from McDonald's, as well as from several other national food chains, they were found to have detectable levels of animal antibiotics as well as animal contraceptives. And although the sample size in this particular study was small, it does highlight a much larger issue. The fact that all these chemicals and drugs that go into our livestock, well, they might be ending up on our plates. This right here is an organization called Moms Across America. They are a nonprofit whose mission is to bring awareness to food that contains GMOs as well as pesticides. And last month, back in September, this organization took food samples from 10 of the most popular food chains in America, and they submitted these samples to be tested at a laboratory over in the state of Iowa. The chief scientist over at the laboratory that was conducting these tests he said that, quote, the FDA's acceptable intake levels are meaningful for checking acute poisoning. Yet in the case of fast food, which some people consume daily, there's a concern for chronic poisoning due to accumulation of toxins. Moms Across America, a national educational nonprofit, has initiated a fast food testing program to test for potential toxins in one of our nation's most iconic go-to nutritional sources, the fast food restaurant. In school lunches, we found them in 95.3% positive for glyphosate, 100% in the fast food samples. The highest levels were in, uh, the heavy meals were in um, in and out french fries actually. And also the lead was found in a Sonic cheeseburger. We also found veterinary drugs and hormones in uh, not, up to nine of the samples. And some of them are not approved by the FDA for human use. They're very toxic in horses and dogs and can cause their hind legs to go to be paralyzed. And we also found a aviary contraceptive in a Chick-fil-A sandwich. And we do not know what that's doing to humans. So we're very concerned about that. Uh, found harmful antibiotics. And of course the calories were higher than what they should be. The minerals are lower than what they should be. This information cannot be ignored and we hope that policy change will be happening very soon. In order for a, a woman to meet the recommended daily amount of vitamin B, which is uh, 14 milligrams per day, she would have to have 333 Chick-fil-A sandwiches in one day. A man would have to consume 380. This is ridiculous. Chick-fil-A, you can do better.